Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about the new DJI Mic 2 combo that just came in the mail today. You will remember I've, I got a video that I did when the Pocket 3, when it, when it first came out. I did a little video about it. I was really excited to get it and I talked about the fact that the, the second mic is not available. Well, now it is. And it's available in different ways that you can purchase it. I'm going to put some links down in the description below. They will be affiliate links from my Adorama account. Different ways that you can add a second mic to the Pocket 3. This is the case that came with the Pocket 3. This is the case for the microphone. And you can see it's just a little bit shorter, but... On the end, it's pretty much the same size width-wise. So I'm just now, you know, in all fairness, I have already taken the things out of this. This is not an unboxing. I want to tell you what's in here. So there are a couple of dead cat mics that come with the um, with the pocket or with the uh, mic two. There is a charging cable, USB to USB-C, and it is, you can use a USB-C to USB-C, doesn't matter, but this is the most general one that people send out nowadays. And it comes with, quite possibly, one of the more important things for me, this little cable right here. Then, in addition, everything fits inside this box. Now, I did not buy the original DJI Mic 2, or Mic dual um, but I understand this is a little bit bigger it's a little different it's probably plastic but it kind of looks like it's stainless steel not stainless it looks like it's like an iodized steel it's very heavy because it's magnetized obviously and it has a little latch so it's it stays secure let me put this down here it has a little latch on it so it stays secure and then when you open it up everything just starts coming on um, now you can tell by the front here, it is fully charged. It has all four lights showing. And as it lights up, you'll see the green light on the microphone. There is another green light on this microphone <clears throat> and the receiver is on as well. Everything tells you that it's working. This little microphone right here, in, in my opinion, which is not worth much probably, but in my opinion, this is a game-changing microphone for just about anybody. Um, it is by far better than the original mic. And it is, to my mind, better than this Rode mic. I'm going to talk about the various mics that I have and what I'm using them for. And so you do get two. And both of them come with a really, really strong magnet. So that you can put it on if you're wearing like a sweater or a jumper, you don't have buttons, you can just put this, put it on, and it's it works. And that's how I'm using the Rode microphone as well, but I had to buy that separate. It does not come with the Rode microphone. Cheap. Um, so with the, well, let me leave this open for just a second. With the receiver, this is what I bought. This is why I bought this. You can, and I, I, I could have done this more cheaply. There's no question about that. I could have bought a single microphone. There'll be a link to that in the bottom. I think they have the single microphone and the receiver, but I wanted the case. And if you buy the single microphone and the receiver, you don't get the charging case. Yeah, it's a trade-off. Cheaper, yes, um, but I'm more apt to lose crap, okay? So I'm, I'm not going to take you through everything with this receiver. That may be for another video, but there are plenty of um, there are plenty of videos out there. I'm going to put this up here so you can kind of see. It is showing that the microphones are live, and, and at least this one is this one's been turned on, so you can see that it's getting some gain here. I do have this set up for stereo, 
So if I turn the second mic on, you'll see that now I have both mics showing. Um, and here, here's what I have found. If I put this on mono, I can only see one microphone. If I put it on stereo, then it will show me both microphones, but it, it records it as one single audio track. The new microphones, the mic two, comes with a, what they call a 32-bit float. And for audio, that's kind of like raw files for a photographer. If you've got files that peek out at the top and we try to salvage them, the, the, the audio is just all fuzzy at the top because it's peeked out. The 32-bit the float allows you to record more dynamic range in the audio. And then you've got some where you had the gain turned down too low or somebody's standing way too far away from the microphone and you can't hardly hear anything is <clears throat> you can boost the mic you can boost the volume on this and not lose any quality because it's 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 recording at a wider audio range um, on 32-bit float what it what it does not do is it does not record 32-bit float to this camera all the files are saved here, the video file, the audio track, everything here. You pull the little micro SD card out, you plug it into your computer, just like any other card you've pulled out of a camera, you're going to get the audio and video on one file. But you can set this up to do a backup recording, and the audio will actually record both on the camera but a backup file in 32-bit float will be recorded on this mic itself. And it has its own USB-C USB plug uh, that you can plug in just like any external hard drive, pull that audio off, overlay that, and if you're doing it in stereo, you'll actually have two separate audio tracks. That's sort of my goal. That's where I'm headed. When I tried it out today, that's not what I did. I didn't have any backup audio files on the mics. A again, I'm, I'm not going to walk you through everything on the on the mic. I will show you. You see this little spot right here with a line through it. That is um, that is the ability for the microphone to cut out the background noise inside the microphone. Much like I'm loading files up to Adobe Podcast Enhance to get rid of sort of the ring in the room. And if I'm outside, it will get rid of a lot of the background noise and isolate my voice. If I were to turn that on, then this will record in uh, an artificial intelligence way to eliminate background noise. So if I'm standing out on a street corner somewhere and there's traffic going by, I can turn this on and it will really, it won't eliminate it, but it will really put it in the background where my voice is, is seen a lot more. So those are just a few of the things that are important. Now, this comes with two connectors. Well, it comes with three. It comes with a cold shoe on the bottom. I understand on the old receiver, this you had to put this on. This does not come off. So it has a cold shoe, um, but it also has a lightning connector if you're going into an older iPhone, and it has a USB-C connector if you're going into everything else. And so it has a little thing here on the bottom that covers that piece up. So you can see all the connectors here, and I'm just going to push this in here, and it will lock. Let's see if I can pick it up on the microphone. You might have heard that. This is in there pretty solid. I understand with the old version, again, if you just push this into something, this might come loose and you might not realize it, but it is in there pretty solid. So I can connect it. If I'm going to use it on the DJI Pocket 3, 
then I am going to put it into this USB-C plug at the bottom. And the, and the Pocket 3 will automatically recognize that it's there. Now, anytime that you're using the external microphones, the internal microphones, as I understand it, are turned off. So you will only hear the mic. I can use it in stereo mode with just one microphone if I want to, but if I was just out by myself, I would change this back to mono. But with two microphones, I can hear both microphones really, really well. And as a case in point, I took this out to Ruby Falls today, and I asked the tour guide there, his name is Jim, uh, he was a terrific, terrific guy. If you ever go to Ruby Falls, ask when Jim's going to be given a tour. And I asked him, I said, would you be willing to wear one of these for me? And he said, sure, no, I'd be happy to. That, that'd be great. So he put one of these on and he would walk away from me every once in a while while I'm recording something. And I'm just going to play a little bit of a clip. It hasn't, hasn't been, I haven't done anything to it. I haven't edited the audio. I haven't edited the video. It's just a raw clip straight out of the pocket three. So you can see what that sounds like. Just recording, no extra bells and whistles. It was the original ceiling. So when Mr. Lambert originally came through, he would have been crawling through this 18 inch gap here. Holy All smokes. of this was excavated out. The trail that we're walking on has actually been dug out. And they dug this out and they took all the rock and that's what they used to build our castle. I couldn't fit through a 24 inch open, <laughs> let alone 18 inch. You, you know, it's not so one much skinny the, guy. Not so, <laughs> Mr. Lambert was five foot four, 135 pounds. I okay. looked it up. It's not so much the, 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 the actual doing it, it's that he kept going, you know, yeah, he never yeah, stopped. Yeah, never stopped. And I found that fascinating here. Yeah. There's something I'll check, show you out because we're gonna see a lot of it. This right here is calcite. Calcite is uh, what's building the formations in the cave. Now limestone, doesn't really do anything when you put a light on it. But calcite actually glows oh, when you wow. put a light on it. It has to do with the reflective qualities of the way calcite is built up. We're going to see some really cool calcite formations here in a little bit. Now, the other thing that this does is these microphones work on just about everything else there is. The microphone itself will connect to my iPhone 15 via Bluetooth. However, via Bluetooth, the internal camera app doesn't detect the microphone. I'd have to go into something like uh, the Blackmagic app or Filmic Pro and, and, and tell it to recognize the mic. But if I plug this into the USB-C port at the bottom, now my microphone will, uh, my phone will recognize the microphone and allow me to record in the native camera app. So that's, that's a big improvement. In addition, because it comes with a cold shoe mount, I'm just going to take this back off for just a minute, put it back in the box. This is the reason I like the box is because if I'm just out with a microphone and the receiver, this stuff's going in my pocket, and then I'm going to lose it, and I'm going to be in a world of a mess. So let me put this back in. I think this goes this way. So let's put that back in. Now I have the ability. Let me clean some of this stuff out so it's not in the way. Now I have the ability on my Canon to mount the receiver, I can mount it either way I want, I think, but I, I'm going to put it in this way. You can get it over here where I can see it. I can put it on the cold shoe mount, and with this little wire right here, you'll see on the side it has two outputs. One is for headphones, and one is for this cable to the camera. And the cable to the camera is clearly marked because it's orange. It is a foolproof way <laughs> to wire this up. So if I plug this in to the orange and then I pull this around and I plug this in to the mic, 
Now I can use this with my Canon and I, I can just keep using the same microphones over and over and over in whatever I want to use them for. Now let me show you what I've got, okay? So as I'm, as I'm working my way through here, I originally started with the Rode Wireless, which is what I'm using now. I hated the dead cat on it. I've talked about this you know, a lot of times. I hated the dead cat on it because it would never stay on. So I super glued this one. So this is this is my going to the waterfall mic. They turn that around so you can actually see it. And I have a second one that I'm wearing here that I'm recording on on this camera. And I like the Rode. I like the Rode Wireless. I think it has a great quality. What I don't like is this huge footprint that shows up everywhere I go. And I have tried to put it in my pocket and all I hear is the sound of the fabric. I've tried to put it hiding in my collar up here and then it, I get all kinds of external noise as well. The only way I've found to really use this that works is just to put it out here where everybody sees it and it shines like the Dickens. So I have that. As an alternative, I bought, move this over here. As an alternative, I bought uh, a set of Kamika mics. And I like these because, number one, that is a much smaller footprint. And if I turn it around, it's even smaller. And it works just fine. I can also plug it into my pocket, and, and it works just fine as well. And this has become sort of my go-to microphone when I'm out and about. However, the quality of audio on this mic, not quite as good as the Rode. I'm going to be honest. I, I love this mic. I wouldn't trade it. Well, up until today, I wouldn't trade it um, because I really, really like it. I liked it so much that I bought the Kamika mic for my iPhone and it has its own little receiver down here. You can see a little orange dial to, time, to dial in the gain. And all I have to do is plug this in and you will see that I've got a microphone now and it comes with two in a charging case. And so I've been, I've been using this some and it was, I don't know, 130, 150 bucks. It, it wasn't really that expensive. <clears throat> I'm also experimenting with using my iPhone just to make some videos without any other equipment except maybe a microphone. And I found this little setup on Amazon. Again, it plugs into my phone. It's got two external microphones. This cost $27, $27.99. But it, you know, it's cheap. It's flimsy. Uh, I, I did, I did drop my phone at one point. This came apart. It didn't break, but it almost did because this USB-C plug is in here very, very tentatively. You have to really treat it with kit gloves. But that's another possibility. But now that I have the DJI Mic Two. I'm thinking that the rest of these microphones are going to go away in some form or fashion. I don't know if I have friends here locally who need a good microphone system that want to buy one used, or if I need to go onto some kind of online marketplace, but I think this is going to be the only mic I need. The quality of sound from this little microphone is just simply amazing. I mean, it's just amazing. The other thing is this little hole in the top where the where the dead cat goes in. This little hole in the top is also the hole where you would plug in a lavalier mic. So if you wanted to do a little clip-on small mic and get this out of the way entirely, DJI makes one now. I wish it came with this, but it didn't. And if you if you haven't seen the lavalier mic, I, I encourage you to look it up on YouTube to see it. It's an ingenious design. I think what they did is they took everything that people said, gosh, I wish you would have done this with the original microphone, and they stuck it in this one. And I just love it. 
Again, there will be some links at the bottom if you want to go check them out and let me know what you think in the comments. And we will see you next week, hopefully with some photography.